So we get finally got the old Acrovet back from the over to the south side of the farm. And uh, we're gonna see if we can get it running to make a, a new mud riding vehicle. Let's see what we got here. It's climbing in the here's trunk. The, here's the trick, everybody. You keep your legs hanging out so nobody can slam it and lock in the trunk. That's a good idea, Jeremy. You always keep your legs dangling out and you might be more comfortable that way, too. And you see these little teeny tiny wires. Mm hmm. What are you going to do with them, Jeremy? All right. I'm going to make sure they're all nice and tight. And figure out how to get this seat locked down. How are you going to do that, Jeremy? I think I'm going to have to get back out. Okay, let's see how he gets out. This is how a professional auto mechanic gets out. As you can see, he's grabbing with a good Gorilla Grip. Now he's doing the shimmy. All the mechanics knows about this. It's a shimmy. Okay. About gradually getting your hip weight. Okay. There. All right. <coughs> Now what are you doing, Jeremy? I'm just trying to make the seat fold forward. I think they're supposed to in these cars. Okay. Now what kind of car is this you're working on for all the UC people? <laughs> this is a 1958 Ferrari Dino. <laughs> um, World-renowned race car. You know what? I don't think the seat comes out. How much does this car cost retail value? <laughs> Uh, they sold one on auction last week for $655,000. Uh, first time, first time any, any of uh, that particular model has gone for less than $700,000, but the economy's off. Okay. That's an interesting fact, boy. And, uh, now what's on your agenda? Basically, right now, I'm going to be waiting on, uh, I don't think okay. Truck. Now we're going to his work truck. truck. Now is this your car too? Uh, no. What kind of car is this? Uh, this Hyundai, built in Alabama. Built in Alabama, people. Now he's going to his work truck. I get my toolbox here. I can bring my big tool. This is his trans easy transport toolbox. This is my leaky oil toolbox. Ain't nothing wrong with that. This right here, I want to show y'all this. This is the interesting part. Oh, that's beautiful. This is an adapter. If you've got a, a late 80s to, well, late 90s to, mm -hmm. or middle 90s to uh, 2004, 2005. Okay. Course, and you, you want to put the regular radio in. All right. That's the market radio. I like that. If you that. need one of these, they charge you about 75, 50 bucks. Uh huh. Uh, I paid. A dollar fifty. Where did you get apart. that good deal at? Is it undercover yeah, or what? Apart at full apart actually. Is that it? There. Yeah. Uh, Where is that located at for all the YouTube folks? Maybe you can help them out. That's in Birmingham, Alabama, near the airport, McFarland Boulevard. Uh huh. There. So you go up in there and take you some tools. Not like today where I didn't bring a dang tool. Okay. That happens to everybody. Now what you doing now? <laughs> I'm doing the old dig. So basically right now you're doing the old dig. I'm doing the dig. So this is how you dig? <laughs> this is how I dig for a, the... Uh, Get it. This is what you call, you two people, extreme digging. Extreme digging. I'm going to have to use these scissors. Scissors sound good. Just uh, cut like the roof off so I can get to it easy. Okay. This will blow. This will blow Bob Dylan and all them. I mean Bob. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Dave the Farmer. Yeah, that blow him away. What did you find? Flathead, but okay. It might work anyway. Let's All right, let's try. give it a try. Let's give it a try with the so flathead. Humping position on. Chef Jeremy is going in. Now, 
Now okay. tell everybody what you're trying to do right now. This, I am turning this screw. There's three of them that hold this panel on. Mm -hmm. This panel provides access to the fuel pump. Okay. And I've never worked on one of this gear model. Okay. I'm not real sure how much access it gives you, but it may give us enough to do some troubleshooting and make sure it even needs replacing. So far, it looks good. All of what you need to do as you're pulling screws, make sure you put the screws them. to the side. And secure them in a little spot where they don't roll down. With the Is this because you don't want to forget where you put them? Yeah, exactly. So That's a good tip them. for you two people. Keep up with them. Now, let us know again, do a quick quick recap for somebody who walked out of the room and they're not watching it at that point. Uh -huh. What exactly what we're trying to do today? Go over a quick we recap. We're going to uh, straight test the fuel pump. And I think this one might actually have two pumps in it. I can't remember if they changed that or not. This is very uncomfortable. Okay. This little thing was pinching into my pituitary gland. Where was it pinching? In my pituitary gland. Okay. What's exactly pinching? Is it a tire? Mm, the latch. So, it's better if I didn't get up in here and lay down and go to sleep. So, let's look at your angle. Your angle looks uncomfortable. It's very, very uncomfortable. It's called Honda Yoga. <laughs> the, new, Honda. the new discipline amongst the tuning crowd. <laughs> So you think all the beautiful people in Beverly Hills should start this kind of yoga? Yeah, it gives you enlightenment. You'll feel a certain release of bad spiritual energy uh -huh. as you become one with your mantra and the Dalai Lama. And you yourself you will become a Buddha. That's beautiful. In, trans, in transmission. Transient transmission is what we call it. You know, it's a lot of people on YouTube love to watch people fix cars. They usually get over 100,000 hits. I'm going to fix this car with this one flathead screwdriver. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that would be the first. I think we should name this video the guy who can fix a car with one screwdriver only. I'm going to have a little bit of trouble getting this bolt off with a screwdriver, though. If y'all would like to leave comments, please do it below. Tell him how much it helps you out when you watch this video. You got the inspection notices there. You got a hard ground, which I don't guess needs to come up. All right, here we go, ready, ready ladies and gentlemen, here's the moment of truth. Let's now he's using a screwdriver. The access panel. Ah. And there, ladies and gentlemen, we see the fuel pump. It looks good, or does it look bad? Well, it looks dusty because it's under a car, and you'll have that. Okay. Um, if you could take the camera and see if there is a key in the ignition. Mm-hmm. And uh, turn that key on for a second. Don't crank it, just now, turn it on. Turn it on. Now I'm taking the journey to the front of the car. That's badass. Very. How, how much does this car cost? Hey, the keys are not in it, dude. Huh? Uh-uh. The keys are not in the car. Now we're back at Jeremy, the chef Jer, and he's not only a chef, he's also a mechanic. I don't know if you can see this at home, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to move this fresh, organic, plastic rubber thing over to expose the uh, linkage here. All right. I think what we can see that pretty good. Push down and you slide it out. That's pretty good. And once you get it slid out, do you lick it? Um, I wouldn't lick it. It seems like it has some kind of uh, factory <laughs> putty on it. Okay. And it's probably fairly toxic. 
see if I can change. Now, that. what's your next challenge? I'm going to look up in here and just see if I can see anything that's bad connection. Oh, I'm going to have to really do some yoga now. Now, this technique I learned from uh, Master Master Kawasaki. Uh huh from the uh, southern part of the Japanese island. That's when you met him when you left a couple months Very ago. Very wise man, my guru. Uh, he taught me a lot. What you want to do, uh -huh. it's kind of like playing twist. I can see it good, you're gonna too. Move your hand this way. All right. And then duck your head under. Okay. And then use the fingers. All right. Move everything out of the way. Uh-huh. Then realize that you can't see in the dark. Okay. And once you realize that you can't see in the dark, then you'll start to feel the spirit of the Buddha enter through your transcendent antennae, as it's called. And at that point, you'll find yourself in a lovely situation. Beautiful. Uh, the thing that bothers me... Uh-huh. Is I do not <laughs> see or feel nary a gas hose going up to this unit. So what should Unless we do? It's pressurized. What should we do now? And we can't find no keys. I think I'm gonna de-key straight. Now up. what he's trying to do is get out of vehicle. T show me your technique you in slow mo. I'm gonna show you a different technique. Slow mo. I'm panning back where I get the whole vi vi visual. Okay, what is this you're doing right here? This is the almost. Oh, watch out now. Was that a part of your technique? <laughs> yeah, it made me escape a little faster. <laughs> so what did you think about that? Tell us what, what just happened. Do a quick recap for the YouTube folks. So, as I was pulling from the trunk, uh -huh. I had to lift my weight in a meditative state like yogi flying. Which doesn't work when you're in a confined space. But it helps you to come around with their claustrophobia. Now let's check and see if it has a second pump. Okay. If it has a second pump, that's not going to be fun for me. Now we're looking for the second pump, ladies and gentlemen. You're going under the wheel. How does it feel under there? It is fabulous. Does it, does it look really smooth? Yeah, I'm in good shape. I wish I'd buy this car. How much do you think? Yes, uh, T4 car is worth a lot of money. Yeah, I don't know about a lot of money, but it's worth what he's probably asking. Now I can't see it with a key line, can't land at all. Because it's muscly in the way. Well, that's a reposition. What is this technique called? called the groan and scratch. Groan. Let me look at your back. Nice. Nice. Now he's going underneath. I'm going to try to Again, people. Around the now. Tell us what's going on. Lots of wires. Not a single gas hose. There's the golf hose in. Oh, I'm sorry. Somebody's pulling up. Oh, that's probably gone. Well, that's him for working on the car right now. We get back with you later. Peace out. This is me and Jeremy working on a car and me watching.